Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back again. This is Unesh, and uh, let me check once that we are live or not. So, are we live? Yeah, we are live, and uh, yeah, guys. Today we have Ahmed with us. Uh, all of must, uh, all of you must have. Uh, are already aware of Ahmad and what he does. So we are going to discuss today about a tool called Topic Mojo. So welcome, Ahmad. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine too. So today we are going to discuss about Topic Mojo. Uh, guys, all of you know that uh, Ahmad had has multiple tools right now, and he is the founder of Brand Overflow also, Topic Mojo also, and many more tools coming right it's lined up <laughs> yep okay. definitely uh, we have been quite busy lately uh okay we have been working on brand overflow for so long but we have also been making several other things along the way we have been planning for a complete tool list that was separate from brand overflow and topic mojo is one of the first ones uh it was made completely around the content so that people can create better content for human beings, uh, aside from the whole keyword technical part. OK. Uh, so my first question to you uh, will be about that you are building multiple tools under one parent company. Uh, so what is that parent company? And uh, tell us in the brief that uh, what next is coming, right? I will not ask you more details about it, but you can uh, give us some hints, right? OK, the parent company uh, that we all work under, Brand Overflow and Topic Mojo, everything falls under a company called Massive Ventures. Uh, I started it back in March 2020. Uh, actually, back in 2019, I started it, and it's registered in the US as well. It's called Massive Ventures. OK. Uh, so uh, you, we have now live Brand Overflow and uh, Topic Mojo, right? Yep. Okay, so many more are coming lined up. We will see at the time when you uh, want to show us, right? Uh, so yeah, let's, move uh, ahead with, <laughs> let's move ahead with Topic Mojo. So what is this Topic Mojo and uh, how this thought came that you uh, want to create a tool li like Topic Mojo, right? Uh, I've spent a lot of time in SEO, content writing, ranking keywords and whatnot. And the main problem that we face is writing good blog pieces so whether it is for an e-commerce website or a software review or whatever topic that you're writing on it is really hard to do all the research and you, when you're doing all that research manually you still miss out on a lot of things so in order to make a blog piece really really engaging you need to have the right elements like the right videos, the right images, the right memes, the right Twitter conversations. You need to talk about the same topics that people are talking about. Uh, for example, if it's leather jackets or whatever, you need to know what the people are asking for so that you can incorporate it into a blog piece. Otherwise, it won't be useful. This, is what, this was the idea around making Topic Mojo so that one tool can provide me with every data piece that I need to make a really good content piece for a blog, for a landing page, for whatever, so that people can find it useful. Like we show a lot of tweets, a lot of videos, a lot of forum communication, tweet communication, Reddit. We provide everything in one view so that you can get an overall idea about what this topic is about. Maybe the videos show something else and the Twitter feeds show them something else. You will get a lot of ideas about what to write about when you use topic model uh, in topic module. This was the uh, idea behind topic module so that we have everything we need in one place to write content. It's good that you have keywords and all that, but you need stuff to write about as well, right? Otherwise, you're just stuffing keywords one after another, like uh, cheap deal, cheap discount, cheap, cheap this, this, that, that, just to get those keywords in. But that doesn't mean it's human friendly. You need to make it readable. So that's where Topic Mojo comes in. Yeah, so uh, that was the thing that I also told in my video that uh, Topic Mojo uh, yes. gives us an aerial view, right, of the yes. whole topic. 
under one roof and uh, that research is not solely based on the search uh, engine crawlers right that's based on uh, user intent and that's what the google which google is prioritizing these days uh, in rankings that uh, if there are many factors such as how many uh, how much time a user is spending on the one particular result right so on that basis google decides that whether this topic was relevant or not right yeah. so if it's up to the mark of the user intent then definitely user is going to spend more time and its uh, click through rate is going to increase and definitely ranking will go high so uh, uh, let's dive inside the topic mojo uh, that I, I would like to ask you that uh, when we log in in Topic Mojo, uh, we can explore multiple options there. Mm. But if, a, as a user, we can think uh, more creative ideas outside of Topic Mojo and uh, do a research of particular keyword, and uh, uh, we will explore things. What are the results generated there? But as as a founder. What workflow you think that we should use Topic Mojo as, right? Uh, suppose, let's say, uh, I have a blog upcoming, right? Uh, for example, mm -hmm. and uh, suppose, let's say, it's of any niche, right? So, what workflow I should follow uh, in order to plan my content, right? So, I would like to ask mm -hmm. your uh, workflow on this that you recommend to use Topic Mojo as. Okay, before we dive into Topic Mojo. Yeah. and how, what kind of data Topic Mojo would give for you. Let's uh, look at a little bit of what I used to do when, yeah. before, before Topic Mojo, all the things that I used to do in order to write a blog piece. Uh, let me just share my screen. Yeah. One moment. Mm. Uh, screen is not visible. Uh, uh, I'm trying to find the window. I think I found it. Okay. Before, can you see it? Yeah, yeah, I can see it. It's not showing up on the live stream yet. Uh, it will come. It will come in. Uh, let me check. Yeah, it's there. It's there on live stream. It's there? Yeah. Okay. So before you write about anything, I check about the trends that are happening about it. Like, give me a topic. Like, okay, let's try leather jacket. First of all, I see what the what kind of trends are happening regarding the keyword leather jackets. And let's say uh, my target market is United States. So this is my first part of the journey. I go to Google Trends, I look it up, I see what kind of trends are happening, if it is actually worth my time. So as you can see here, it's on a rise because winter is coming, it's very close, so the trend is going up. And here you can see which states in uh, United States have the highest trend of it. So this gives me a green light to go ahead and write about it. This is what I used to do before. So here you can see YouTube is only giving me results for Pakistan because I'm logged into Pakistan. It doesn't give me specific results about United States. That is something I would get if I am uh, on a VPN or maybe using some other kind of a search search uh, search platform, maybe changing the settings from here somewhere. It doesn't give me the right example of it. Then I can go to New School. I would check about all the new... Love it. Check to see if uh, there's anything that I should be thinking about, some new fashion that I need to talk about in my blog piece to rank on that keyword, make it more, uh, make it more interesting for the users and whatnot. Uh, just like that, just like I showed you these three steps, I have to do all the steps included in the topic model already. Now let's 
for a basic workflow, let me show you what I could do. Oh, let me refresh. There are new updates going up today, so it should be fine now. Here you can see the same search trends. In a snapshot, I can see the trend is going up. Uh, remember how we saw the, the trends over in Google Trends? The same we see here. And we see the recent search volumes as well. And here you can see that uh, near the end of the months, like 10, 11, 12 months, uh, the search volume goes up. This is what we need to see, that during October, November, and December, leather jackets are in very high demand. This is when we need to know firsthand about uh, leather jackets. Second, we can see the videos and everything. And this was done in the United States. So here you can see all the latest ranking videos and everything for uh, leather jackets. Now, most of you have already seen, like Ones, you have, you've already seen all the features that we have been rolling out, right? Yeah. Okay, there are a few new things as well. We have included the SERPs here as well, like the freshest SERP that comes straight from Google. This was not here before. We've also included Shopify, which uh, is a little buggy at the moment, but it's going to work, and Reddit as well. And soon those are going to work as well so that these three new data sources are going to make your experience a lot better. Now let's dive into a basic blog workflow. First of all, you need a topic to write about, a headline. The first thing you need is a headline. You need to know what to write about. The easiest thing to write about is uh, listicles, like top five, yada, yada, yada. Top five, uh, top five types of leather jackets you need to see. Top five this, top five that. Here you can get some ideas. What makes the best leather jacket? Who makes the best leather jackets and whatnot? Let me just, let me just go back here. Who makes the best leather jackets or where to buy badass leather jackets this season for badass? Oh no. I would pick a video that has something relating to a an overall topic, but not specific to promoting something. Uh like how to wear leather, how to how to style a leather jacket, maybe. Or where like, see, this video is not embeddable because it would sell something. Let's search for more videos over here. Seven things, seven things a leather jacket says about you. Yeah, see, this is something I would talk about in that blog article that would help people choose a better le leather, uh, better leather jacket. So I would keep videos like those, then move on to forums and see what people are talking about in the forums vintage leather jacket forum no these are just forums we need to see great leather jacket great price nah textile leather jacket versus leather jacket see this is something we can actually include in the blog article so i would keep these kind of titles as h2 heading twos uh, in your blog so that these are your long uh, tail keyword so that you can rank for something bigger in your title but you can also rank for a lot of long tail keywords using uh, the forums tab over here you can find a lot of long tail keywords breaking in a leather jacket these are the kind of headings you would want to use in your blog piece so that you can rank for those long tail key keywords these are things that people are actually asking in the forums and you need to incorporate them in your blog as well like there are many ways to find these long tail keywords, but I think, uh, and Elson thinks as well that having these kind of keywords as your long tail head, uh, as, as your headlines and ranking for them is gonna help you build better authority over that topic. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, leather jacket suggestions, no. Uh, I would choose one-stop shopping, no. Your opinions on leather jackets, nope. Bought a Helston jacket, nope. Named this leather jacket, nope. All Saints jackets and coats. 
I would choose more keywords like this from the forums tab to make headings and put up a little bit of a content there so that the people can understand about the textiles jacket versus a leather jacket. It would help me get a long tail keyword going on for that topic as well, since Google is already ranking these forums on this leather jacket keyword. Next, I would move on to tweets and see what kind of tweets are happening in the world. See if there's any kind of conversation that I can put into my blog piece and make it better with something recent, hopefully. But these are the most, uh, how do I say? These are the most relevant tweets that we find. These are not the most latest, but the most relevant. So that you can, uh, you can have some embeddable content that would make your blog a little better. Like, if you want to put in some pop stars or whatever to make your blog a little better, that helps as well. Instagram, uh, Amazon, Shopify, uh, eBay, and Etsy are all there for to help you understand the e-commerce side better of uh, your topic, basically. So when we're talking about leather jackets, these are the most relevant kind of pictures that are coming up for leather jackets and they always contain e either a hashtag or the actual keyword leather jacket this is why we put all these things together in one place we want to see the most relevant content in the captions as well let's see another one there we see a leather jacket and here this is an idea from an actual store so you can get an idea about how to make your pictures or your captions or your hashtag ideas that's where that would come from so with these two or three pieces mainly being uh the forms part and uh the twitter part i would start creating the outline of a blog so that i have a headline and some edge twos next i would move on to this part we have uh, an update rolling out very soon and we have been working on the linguistic engine behind the intents the phrases and everything is a lot better now we have expanded its vocabulary the questions show up a lot more in the intent section of uh, topic model so uh, we have a lot of phrases here Keyword, uh, leather jacket is squeaky, Le leather jacket is stiff, peeling, too big, sticky. Now, these are all the things that users are talking about already. You can also incorporate this to have that extra kick in, in your content about, and talk about things that people are already facing uh, issues on regarding leather jackets. These are all the keywords that you could write content about. These are not your long tail keywords, but you these are like topic points. You can put them into bullet lists and start writing one-liners about it. With just these and the YouTube and the forums part, I will be on my way to make a good article. But it depends from niche to niche. Like leather jackets, I would mainly look at Instagram, forums, videos, and that's about it. But the main part of my entire journey would also include the intents, where I would have a lot of talking points coming out from the intents part over here. That would be my basic workflow. That is something I tell my team as well to follow. Whenever we're, uh, we are writing about anything, like mostly we write about SEO, but we are trying to expand into other niches as well to try and test out what Topic Mojo can do. So let's say if we're like, I give them example content piece uh, tasks where they have to write about leather jackets or VPNs or whatever. And this is the same workflow they follow. Like, get an idea an overview of what the topic is kind of uh kind of uh experiencing right now with the intention that is happening around the world and then form an outline using topic mojo then you have all these talking points coming out of intents i think that may i, I may have confused more than i should have but that is kind of the workflow that i want to give my uh, give my team uh, yeah, that makes sense actually, uh, and that was uh, really interesting that uh, you said that it depends on niche, right? Because uh, yeah. we're talking about leather jacket, uh, such products like apparels and uh, everything, uh, there are more for the model thing, right? In which a model mm. is there. And for that, we have to go to the platform which is made for images, right? For photos. Mm. 
and mm. that's instagram right so that's the right thing and uh, uh, it totally depends that uh, as we just saw in the result of leather jacket we didn't find much uh, data inside youtube right uh, because mm. there, there was there was lack of content so that's mm. what the content gap that we can fill up if we are working on that niche yes that is also going to help that's you either you can use it to make your blog piece a little better because any blog piece that has a youtube video yeah. has the um, has the right uh, eligibility to rank better if you don't if you don't see a video you can actually fill that gap that is a very good point yes yeah. so uh, that was the thing that i want to point out that to find a content gap in any niche it's any niche mm -hmm. either it's, as you say it's seo or let's say uh, how to start blogging or let's say saas tools any niche mm -hmm. you are to find a content gap because uh, in research you see whatever there is present but to figure out that what is not there it's a really difficult task yes definitely yeah. now the, uh, like these youtube videos are not going to show you much content like not much content regarding leather jackets that is engaging but when you go to medium you see a lot of a lot of content like uh, look at all these headlines that you could also use the do's and don'ts of wearing a black leather jacket 10 tips of wearing a leather jacket when it's cold. The 10 most expensive leather jackets by the Listly. Pick out the best leather jackets for yourself. Now, this is the content that could be turned into a video as well to fill that gap. What I would do uh, in this case of Medium, that uh, if there are so many articles, mm -hmm. then what I will do is that I will make a, a hierarchy type of article that to learn more about leather jacket, uh, refer to these top five articles on Medium. I will just made a listicle of articles on leather jacket on Medium. You got me. Yeah. <laughs> so what what you will uh, in H two, I can include every single title of that particular Medium article. Yes, definitely. So you can include all these and rank for pretty much everything they are ranking for as well. Yeah. This is the complete content inspiration engine that you can use in multiple ways. OK, uh, so uh, one more thing that uh, we covered that topic model part of Topic Mojo right now, right? Uh, hmm. But uh, while at the same time, we can use questions also. Uh, question that the question people. is a very different technique. You use that for your frequently asked questions to also fill up the blog. Okay. I would, uh, if you're writing a blog and you're new to Topic Mojo, I would suggest everybody to just stick to the model. Yeah. The questions part is for people who wanna, who have a blog piece and they wanna make it better. Okay. So, so find so the way we find questions is a lot different than how we build a model. Okay. Like in questions, we go really deep to uh, kind of get the even more stuff out of uh, Google and Reddit and Quora than usually people are getting. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and uh, as we, uh, we have some uh, questions type things in topic model also. So uh, when someone is- Those are very different. Okay. Now, okay. Approach uh, in, you are saying that. The approach is completely different. Okay. I would I I would primarily stick with the uh, topic model if you're just starting a blog piece and you don't know if you're gonna rank on it or not or whatever, you don't know it yet. So you just start out an outline and get the first piece of content ready using the topic model. This is gonna help you get a lot of the work done. And once you have ranked for those things, then you can go for a lot of the deeper questions that you can get from the question finder. Yeah, uh, I got it. Uh, and that makes sense, actually. Uh, so let's move ahead. Uh, what What is still uh, we missed to share about Topic Mojo? Uh, we are actually right now in the middle of updating a huge, huge update. Uh, the email is going to go out very soon. So what you're looking at right now is at a very early update phase of uh, Topic Mojo's next big update. Yeah. And uh, the one new feature we have added right now is this trending tab. So 
this is a feature uh, which is pretty much released, and we uh, have reworked a lot of the things in the UI. A little, a few things are not working right now, and we are constantly updating it. Uh, new stuff, uh, new things are going out. So if anybody has a few errors here and there, don't worry about it. We're fixing them, and it's getting updated. Uh, so this trending tab, we're gonna, uh, we have released it. We thought about limiting it with daily limits or whatever, but instead we thought we should make it unlimited usage for everybody, no matter how many times you visit it. All uh, lifetime deal buyers are going to get this feature for free, unlimited. You can use it as many times per day as you want. We're going to be adding a lot of things here, a lot of sources. So this is not about a certain topic, but it's going to help you explore what is actually trending in the world. So for example, in United States, uh, Zodiac Killer is trending a lot with 2 million plus searches. Here are all the related keywords and searches with Zodiac Killer. Here are all the articles related to this topic. Oh, sorry. Here are all the articles related to the Zodiac Killer topic. Group claims have solved the identity of a serial killer. So apparently there's the Zodiac Killer has been identified in the United States and it's the most trending news in the United States. This would be something you should write about in your blog because Google would consider it as being a source of fresh topic for fresh content. Uh, this is topic exploration at the very highest level so you know what's going on in a country. So uh, what I was, uh, what I was thinking uh, about this trending tab, uh, I need to put up mm -hmm. some keyword to know trend about that particular no. keyword or it's no, 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 you don't have to do anything. You just need to select a country. That's it. And we will show you what is trending in that country today. Every day, this okay. data refreshes. Okay. okay. So on. let's say Canada. In Canada, the mass singer is really trending the mass. Okay. You, you see all these little bugs and stuff. This is being solved because it's a very new feature. Uh, the mass Singer is number one, Adam Wainwright, number two, Michael Keaton. Okay, this is in Canada. Let's see India. I have no idea how to say this. Uh, uh, even I am uh, confused at how, what's that. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. And these are the two most trending things in India. I don't know. So let's try sing. Uh, poor. Italy versus, oh, football. Yep. And Zodiac Killer because it's trending in the United States and it's also trending in Singapore. So apparently people in Singapore are also interested in the news from the United States. These are Nokia, what? I didn't know about this. Oh, that's cheap. Okay. Sometimes you'll find a lot of cool stuff here that you can also write about in your blog. This was one of the most uh, wanted features for some big publishers as well. They want to know what's trending in every country and they want to keep an eye on everything that's happening. Whether it's technology or shopping, news, whatever, so that you can have the most engaging content to share with you on your Twitter, Facebook, uh, blogs, whatever. And this feature uh, we are really proud of this feature because it's going to be developed in a lot of fun ways in the future. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when I'm when I create a report on any particular keyword uh, in the inside topic model, mm -hmm. uh, for now I see that I can export tweets right as CSV or let's okay. say many things I have option to export. But mm -hmm. I what I actually want to do is that I want to uh, create a report export either it's pdf or let's say csv whatever it is mm -hmm. which which uh, exports me data as a whole such as uh, top 20 tweets with uh, top 20 videos mm -hmm. with top 20 serps right uh, everything in one mm -hmm. csv so is that something planned or uh, not for this year maybe next year we can do it but not this year okay so i, I felt that because uh, mm -hmm. when i was uh, exporting some things and I feel that, yeah, man, I have to go to every single tab and <laughs> I have to download that particular report from there. And so there are a lot of people inside comment box. Uh, let's have a look. Chaitanya, hello. Hello, Chaitanya. Uh, okay. Uh, we have H HM Shuja. How are you, Shuja? Hi. 
And let's just have a look at all the comments, right? We have Joe, <laughs> Joe Neville. Uh, I'll buy any new apps you care to develop. Amazing stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Uh, uh, really uh, appreciated compliment for Ahmed. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for your support, Joe. We have Ginny. Hello, Ahmed. And, Hi there. Okay. Should I saying that uh, that's great, but how frequently the data has been updated? So that's a nice question. That's great, but how frequently the data has been? I don't know which part he's talking about. I talked about YouTube, Shopify. Everything has a different timer. Okay, so uh, what's what's if I go into everything? It's gonna take uh, an hour. What's an average duration? Everything. Suppose let's say if I'm generating a, uh, this week. No, Monday. which part? Which part? YouTube refresh uh, okay, so, so every every data set okay, had different the views uh, and everything. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's very, very complicated okay. to give one answer for that. The, the so, search so volume let's pick the video data. Hmm. Okay, so let's pick the data of uh, videos, right? YouTube. Hmm. Uh, how frequently it's updated? Updated. The view counts for the no. YouTube data is uh, updated every three months, but the videos themselves okay. are fresh every time. Okay. But the view counts. The view counts every three months. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so uh, I hope that uh, answers your Shuja. And uh, we have Ginny again here, Ahmed bro. I'm very excited for secret update. Yeah, <laughs> and Ahmed loves to keep it secret. That's the yes. thing. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of fun and, in giving surprises. Yeah, and uh, he will come uh, suddenly inside the group and post surprise, right? Yeah, that's what... Uh, uh, Ginny is saying that Ahmed bro loves secrets, right? Mm. And we have Sarang. Sarang, how are you? How's it going, brothers? Everything fine, man. <laughs> and uh, Ahmed Qureshi, you need to get your dedicated account. Stop using credits from Muhammad Osama Khan's account. So he noticed that you are using Osama's account. Yes. I always use Osama's account. Sarang, uh, he doesn't care if limits exceed also. Uh, because he can just re renew with one click, right? <laughs> so, SERP we is social media. Yeah. SERP is uh, on a one-week timer because yeah. SERPs usually update one week. And social media, again, it's a very wide topic. So Twitter, we do around 7 to 10 days. So every seven to 10 days, we bring something new. And if we don't have that keyword, it's going to be fresh. And if we have less than 50 entries, it's going to be fresh every time. Okay. Um, so 80% chance every time you run a report, we're doing a fresh scrape. Because if we don't have enough data on the last time, we would go fresh and get fresh data anyway. Okay. So there's one more question from Ginny. Uh, can we build pillar page with the help of topic module? Yes, definitely, definitely. Because you well, just to... told you how to do that with Medium. You just take all the titles <laughs> and put them in. Yeah, um, I think uh, that that's the main goal of the pillar page. That when someone lands there, and I think uh, that's the what I personally prefer is to uh, write a very long form content piece of content covering the every aspects or every part of that particular niche. And uh, you can uh, you have seen multiple articles with uh, with the word in title like ultimate guide, right? Like ultimate guide. Suppose let's say if we are writing on the blogging, right? Then uh, all about blogging in that particular article. And I personally prefer to after writing it to convert it as, as a static page and not to keep it as article. And what I will do is that I will uh, create a button for that particular article uh, inside my header, right? header of the blog mm. so that's the thing how it works so uh, as per my uh, experience what you can say is that that's the most visited page on particular blog because mm. it's, it's mentioned there so mm. we can we can uh, talk on every aspect in brief and uh, at the same time uh, suppose let's say if you are talking about leather jacket right mm. so there are there are multiple types of jack uh, leather right uh, mm. 
different uh, skins and all like that so what mm. we can do is that that's an opportunity to interlink our blog suppose let's yeah. say in, in a particular article i am in detail talking about a particular type of leather then i can link that particular article on pillar page so that's the main goal of pillar page so i think this is uh, also we can uh, as ahmed just uh, 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 told that we can also include some twitter conversation also and we can embed the tweets there so that's the main thing that creates more authority of your page or let's say if it's not pillar page even if it's an article right yep mostly on an article it would help you for pillar pages i think just blocks of content would be better yeah, yeah. and sources like wikipedia big news news websites that would be better yeah so uh, i think we covered everything uh, about topic mojo so uh, ahmed uh, uh, i don't know you don't like to share the secrets right because you want mm. to keep everything in surprise but i would like to share you any one thing right that you don't have you don't have to keep secret right share at least okay uh, it's not a secret anymore because i released it uh, okay. in the topic okay. model so lately a lot of people are buying the seo data add on and i i wanted to make it better for them so yeah. what we did is make like before we were only giving you search volumes for the uh, seo data add on but now we're making it a lot better okay please ignore the formatting and styling right now because the css is not updated we are pushing out new updates to fix all of this and but hopefully by tomorrow everything is going to be fixed so if you look under the serp you're going to see total number of backlinks total number of referring domains do follow backlinks of a domain no follow backlinks of a domain the educational number of backlinks and the total government backlinks this has been added to pretty much any part that has urls and is relevant for the backlink data as well so now seo data is a lot stronger than it was before uh, okay so we have one more comment from joe and uh, if we buy the seo add on does it increase the number of terms that show up under related and or oh, no. we do not limit the data we show for the topic model based data we do not limit it because of seo data okay so uh, if someone does not get seo add on then the only keyword volume uh, keyword volume and the backlink data and the backlink data is hidden right yes. if someone does not buy that's the only part okay so everything else uh, without seo add on can be seen right yep so i hope it clears uh, uh, it answers right jo uh, if you have any more question you can drop in the comment box right so uh, that's all for now i think we covered uh, every topic of uh, topic mojo right <laughs> uh, just a second yeah so uh, ahmed is there any public road map for the topic mojo or it's... yes definitely it's uh my screen is shared but i'll show it to you uh, let me... it's not it's not visible properly uh i don't know why yeah it's yeah weird. now it's available now, now okay. i can see it right over here the roadmap is here and the roadmap should show up here soon i don't know why it's not loading ah it takes a minute the link is over here uh topicmojo.com slash roadmap and it's pretty huge we have been filling up the done section quite a lot so as you can see these are all the things we've done already in the last month only and we are just about to roll out everything that we have been working on recently as well. Okay. Uh, so guys, uh, roadmap link, as you can see on uh, screen right now, screen of Ahmed, right? Uh, Topicmojo.com slash roadmap. You can visit there and uh, have a look at it that what's coming, right? Yep. And definitely you are going to find some block over that with a surprise word.
<laughs> yeah, it's right here. Surprise number three that we, that yeah. is the uh, trending tab that we just really, yeah. released. We have been working on it for quite some time. Okay, so we have one more comment from Jeannie. Can you please give at least seven days trial for SEO add-on so users can explore? Uh, we thought about that, but uh, we're not really doing that. I'm sorry. We re decrease okay. the price a lot so that people can just try it out, maybe. But we cannot uh, do a trial. Okay. Uh, so, Jeannie, you can uh, subscribe for a month. Uh, it's really uh, cheap if you want to explore. And I think uh, really uh, without SEO add-on, with uh, inside the topic model, uh, the number of reports are really generous. And, uh, you know, uh, even uh, lowest tier of the plans, right? Even if we see the one code plans, uh, it's really uh, enough for agency also, small agencies. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's no you more. Get 500. <laughs> yeah. You get 500 reports of each. You can do yeah, a lot of that. Yeah. Suppose, let's say, uh, because uh, if, suppo suppose if, if I have a client and, uh, the niche of that particular client is very broad then also i think uh, i will not be i will not need to create more than three to four reports i think because it it actually covers uh, everything because uh, we, on in the topic model we uh, really intend to make it uh, keep it broad not uh, go it more narrow down mm. yeah in specific case to uh, mm. create content on uh, on multiple channels, like suppose, let's say if I'm planning a content, I am planning a, a content calendar for me, and I want to plan multiple videos at the same time, I want to plan multiple blog articles, then I may need a couple of, but that too does not exceed more than 10. Mm. <laughs> so that's really the number of reports are really generous. So guys, link is in the description. As you can see, you can go and grab this uh, topic mojo deal we have. So that's all for now, guys. Uh, I think we covered, uh, we replied every questions, uh, and we didn't miss, we didn't miss any of these nope. comments. We covered everything, all the new things as well. Yeah. So, guys, thank you for joining. We'll meet in the next video. Uh, thank you. I'm just right. thank you. The stop button.